Hello, everybody. Welcome to Enter, to Enter the Gungeon. I can speak, don't worry. I'm, I'm not even going to redo it. Had to start as the game started, because here's some story, exposition as to why we are entering said Gungeon. But this is a game that's been rather anticipated. Uh, I've played four hours of it so far on stream. I'm not as good as I want to be, but that's what time is for. I just play more of it. I'm not reading this out loud, because it's fine. A lot of you have probably seen it before, but just for posterity's sake, I've got to have it in my series, you know? The game is really good, though. I like it a lot. It is a lot of fun. I look forward to learning it and getting much better at it. It's got a lot of the vibes you immediately see. It's a lot of Nuclear Throne mixed with Isaac. It's slower paced. It's different, though. It's all about... I don't know. It's a slower paced game. You've got to make decisions, you got to know what you're doing, you've got to learn the patterns. It's it's a mix of the two. It's a lot less nuclear thrown in combat and a lot less Isaac in gameplay. And it's just kind of combining those two ideas. And it turns out quite well. But now now we know why we enter the gungeon. Haha, <laughs> they must enter the gungeon. Ah, oh, yeah. So that's it. Game does have saves and stuff. So, I have a YouTube save and a Twitch save and life is good. And I have four characters. I'll play them in order, most likely. So start with the marine. You can press I to check our inventory. We've got our guns, our active items, and our passive items, the gun. All of the basic guns will have infinite ammo. You won't be able to do anything special with them. Any of that stuff. I'm not going to read all the lore, but I am going to read a lot of the items that I don't know. This one calls it an ammo drop, which is probably useful. I'm really bad about using active items in this, just like I am in Isaac uh, and every other game ever. And this one, better reload speeds and weapon accuracy is good stuff. So, I will do the tutorial again for you must be a new arrival and I'm not gonna read all the dialogue just gonna kind of talk to you and stuff so this guy is gonna teach me how to play and I'm gonna let you guys see how to play so approach me and press E to speak I'm playing on keyboard you can play on controller if you want I don't see why you would want but that's okay. Alright, I would like to begin. Oh, also I can break things by walking on them. There's nothing in any of those, but they will stop a bullet. So Manuel was here. His name's Manuel, which is perfect. Alright, so cover is important. And that's about all there is to it. That scares me though. Those blow up. So, dodge rolls are important. I'm bad at timing dodge rolls so far. I haven't played a lot. I'm not amazing at this. Don't don't expect too much. So the first half of your roll has invincibility frames and the second half does not. And you can use it to jump over gaps as well, which is pretty useful. So you can jump over gaps like I was saying. Some of them are larger gaps and take a little bit later timing, but it's still not very hard. Don't really mess it up too much. Alright, so this is telling me that there are blanks, which as you would experience in many bullet hell games, they're just like the bombs that destroy all of the projectiles and I'm really bad at using these as well. I never use them particularly effectively. Because I always like to think that I'm going to be able to dodge anything or that I'm going to later learn how to dodge things by seeing what mistakes I make in failing to dodge them. So, I'm really bad about using them, but they are good. And I get a pea shooter. And you have to remember to reload. But you know. 
Yes, I will kill him. I am ruthless. Yeah, this is clearly quality. So the bar is how long your reload animation will last. You get all of the pickups in the room. Well, all of the money pickups in the room when you finish. So you don't have to go pick them up. But you do have to go pick up things like keys and hearts. Yawn. Well, excuse me, man. Okay, so he's going to tell me basically that I can teleport to this. And just by holding the map key, then I can also use the teleporter to go back to where I started. No. See, I forget to reload a lot because it's weird. And there are two things about reloading. You can either press R or you can attempt to shoot when your clip is empty. Either one will work. So generally for me, it'll be I try to shoot. So this is a secret room. And you use a blank to open a secret room. And it has some stuff in it. And that stuff will be different, you know. So I can check my inventory and see that I picked up this, which is not, you know, it's just a shield, it's just armor. And the helmet is just another piece of armor, I suppose. I have a lot of armor now, as you can see. Oh, that's going to protect me from hits, just like health. So a major mechanic in this game is that you gain health. Oh, also they do that when you get hit. Some of them are different, though. Control to switch guns. Yep. So I can do that. Everything else is still moving very slowly, but I am not. Anyway, I you have to no hit a boss to get a guaranteed health up. There are some health up items here and there that you might run into, but it's not very reliable. No hitting bosses is very tough. But uh, unlike in Isaac, it doesn't count as no hitting the boss if you get hit on your armor. So armor and health is the same stuff. It's just that armor gets you, armor is just more health in exactly the most literal sense possible and gives you no other advantages besides different kinds of armor. Uh, different kinds of armor doing different things with blanks basically. Alright, so now he tells me go kill my buddy if it's convenient. He was trapped in a chest too, which is familiar, right? So another thing about this game. Neat story I'm leaving. I'm gonna hear him out though, because I you know I wanna I wanna help him out. Anyway, this game is puns the video game. So I, I will tell him that Manny says hi. And that is the elevator. It's obviously a bullet. And then this is where we go. All the other doors and things are closed for now. They both tell me the same thing. I'm ready to enter the gungeon though, which is what matters. So let's get to it. Ah, oh, it's already been 10 minutes. So hopefully, I've had this, like I said, this game is a lot slower paced. All right then. I've had a lot of runs that only got to like the third floor that took me a half hour. So, it's entirely possible that a lot of runs of this game are super long. So remember, and I'm mostly reminding me because I'm sure a lot of you are already better than I am at this. Uh, I'm uploading this one early. This is a special room. If there's a water barrel anywhere, I can get this, and then I press a switch inside of that, and I get to a secret room in some other room that'll open up a path uh, to it. Pretty cool. 
There are a lot of cool guns in this too, but remember, puns the video game. So this is a shop, and look, it's uh, the water gun. Hexagon, I haven't actually shot that yet, and I haven't had one. Money is not easy to come by a lot of though. So, chances are I won't be able to buy those things that I want. Don't do that. That's not what I want from you. I don't think, I think I'm stuck now. I don't think I can turn this. Okay, we're good. Never mind. All right, there we go. We're gonna do this just because I'm gonna show it off. Dang. Ah! That's not the direction I'm trying to kick it! Oh my god, you're being such a punk. We're having fun though. Is this gonna be off? Yeah. I can't do it! Oh, that counts? All right, if you say so, video game. This is such a mess. Takes so much work to get this where I wanna be. All this for a secret that gets me to a floor that's like really, 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 really hard. Just so you know, that's what the secret takes me to. And that's not where I want to go on my first run, let me tell you. But, you know, I go back here and I press E, and a path will open somewhere on the map. That's, uh, you know, I can check. It's not this, though. So I just haven't been there yet, I suppose. Ugh, there's a gnat flying in my face, so I can talk to this dude, and he's happy. He will compensate me. That's nice of him. Watch out for all the bullets. So you can fight shopkeepers, apparently. I haven't done it. Apparently it's a very bad idea. As one might expect of killing shopkeepers at this point in video games. Cover does break, by the way, including the pillars and things in the middle. but it's still useful. So use one key for whatever this is. Rate of fire up. All right, so it tells me already what it does, so I don't need to worry too much. Oh, you can see the secret room right there. Could have teleported and saved a little bit of time. It's probably still faster though than even if you're like right there, which is pretty nice. So that's one thing that helps with the pacing of this game being the fact that you move slowly and everything is slow paced. It's a lot more reasonable moving around the floor because you can teleport like that. So that's an ammo pickup, but I don't have any other guns. And just to show you, I need two keys. I open both of these and I get to go to the other floor. That dude was about to steal the ammo pickup. Health pickups won't get stolen, but ammo pickups and items and guns and such, they will get stolen. So that's gonna be gone by the time I need it when I get another gun. Unfortunately. So I'm out of luck on that front. But I shouldn't need another ammo pickup on this floor. And I have the ability to call in an ammo pickup when I need one. As this character in particular. Well, with this item in particular, which I probably can find as any other character. So no one complained about audio balance on the stream, yes, well, today for me, but yesterday for you all watching this on YouTube. But if you think the audio balance isn't great, let me know. I think it should be fine. But you know, if you disagree, feel free to tell me. 
and I will mess with it. So a lot of enemies shoot a number of bullets. The idea is either don't be near where they're shooting or dodge roll. Dodge roll is a super important guy with whom you should get along quite well. So here's the boss. I'm gonna go back to the shop right quick. Because I want this key, but I also want this hexagon. I'm not gonna have the money for the key. So the chance here that I take, I'm not taking it, but the chance I could take is the boss drops into either enough money or a key, or both, to get something going. Witch pistol. I haven't used this yet, so I don't know what it does, but I will find out. So I will play these animations for you. They can be skipped with whatever the use or interact key is, which for me is E, the default. But this dude's pretty cool. Pretty easy boss, but I still will mess up and not no-hit it. I would love to no-hit it, though. So all of the names of everything, they're all puns. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Oh. So I can fire faster than the fully automatic fire rate. Man. I have to roll toward him, dodge, and I roll into a bullet. It's unfortunate, but that's kind of how I've come to expect to get hit in boss fights. It happens to me really regularly. Maybe a sideways roll would work, maybe not. Either way, this is an easy boss. No hitting it is pretty reasonable. But we won. And we get these things. Which are useful. They'll eat that dude, by the way. So I get a half heart here, I get an armor. I get an ammo pickup, and I get Mega Hand, which looks like the Mega Man thing. Ten days war against the robots. Alright, so, you know, you get a lot of unique guns from bosses that are really cool, in fact. Some of them are good, some of them are just funny, and some of them are, like, legitimately bad, but... You know, it's funny, and that's what counts. So now we're headed to the second floor. And there are things to unlock outside, as you saw all of those closed doors in the main area. Alright. Ooh, wow, instant-ish reload. Yeah, that's a really fast reload. So this gun might be pretty good, even if it doesn't have the most... Uh, damage per shot. It has a good reload and a good fire rate. So it seems like a relatively alright dude. Alright. These dudes don't even like noticeably take damage, but you just gotta have faith that they will die. So again, hearts won't disappear. That'll still be there. Oh, these enemies suck. Oops. Well, that was my own fault. So he gave me a golden key. A golden key means there's a special golden door on this floor. In that golden door, I'll find something that has to do with the progression of the outer area or the inner area uh, of the gungeon. But we'll see, basically. So I can leave an offering. I believe I drop a gun with F by holding F. And then this also is an altar of some sort. I don't know how either of them works for sure. But I'm not ready to give up one of my guns because you can't drop this one. And I did like the witch pistol. Mega Hand seems pretty good. I'm going to call an ammo drop for this thing, because I kind of need it. It 
let's see what we've got in here. This is actually a pretty cool item. This might be the place where I get to use my golden key. Nope. Well, maybe over here. I'll find it eventually. Doesn't seem like there's a reason not to full clear room or floors very much. So I will be doing it. I mean, I guess I have full ammo for the other gun, so I may as well fill that again. Since, like I said, ammo does get taken. If you don't, just pick it up. Oh, I only get to call on the ammo once? That sucks. I didn't realize that was an emergency only item. Oh well, now I know. Dude, what the heck? The ammo is so common. Okay, so there's the boss. Teleport back over here. I'm on the hunt, man. I want to find that golden door for you. The plus side is I shouldn't really, like, die. Should be able to find it no matter what. Oh, also, a lot of things in this game have faces, as you can probably guess from the fact that the golden key has a face. So that's always fun. And you saw in the opening cutscene that the hills had faces. Always a good time. Yeah, this gun seems pretty good. And I'm getting so much ammo for it that I can keep using it. Fantastic, right? I do have a key. And that is a machine pistol. This thing's not super accurate, but it's pretty good. Here is my golden key. So this finds the first dudes. So, they've been here forever. And this is always the kind of layout that this room is. I think, so far in my experience. And they sell some stuff. Basically, these guys are the unlock mechanic for new items. So they'll, you'll buy weapons and items using those credits that you get from killing bosses. And then they'll be able to drop and appear in the gungeon. Actually, I'm going to visit the shop. So this thing, I don't know what it's for. What I do know is what this is for, and this is when I flip a table, I gain damage for a brief period of time, and I'll be red during that time, so it'll be obvious when it is and isn't active. Oops. Alright. That wasn't stellar. So one thing I'm very bad about is noticing when the secret rooms are there. Because it's not often that I'll actually shoot a wall. And when I do, I don't realize it, so I don't see the cracks. Because it's just really not that easy to notice to me. So, things to learn. I don't have any keys at the moment. I don't know if Shopman had any keys for sale, because I bought his only key, right? about what I thought. So I'll buy a heart, or an armor. Armor is good stuff. And I might get a key from the boss. You never know. So this boss is not that tough either. I almost no hit it a couple times. But we'll see. Thing in the middle, as far as I know. Oh, never mind. Well, guess I was just shooting it with the wrong stuff. That probably wasn't gonna hit me, but may as well play it safe, right? Blanks are replenished every floor, as the dude told me in the tutorial. So 
so it's not like I'm not gonna have any. That one I would have been fine, I think. But now I have to just be fine. Because I have no more blanks. Nice, I no-hit him, so I get a health up here. Another armor. Now, uh, what are you? And a health up. So, let's check out what both of those items do. Movement speed up, which is really useful in this game and not super common. This potent artifact indicates mastery of the second chamber. Any who enter the dungeon are doomed to remain living countless lives in an effort to break the cycle. Well, that doesn't tell me anything. I guess, I mean, it shows that I no-hit the boss here. I don't think I no-hit the entire floor, but maybe I did. Which would make sense for it to... Let's see, I didn't get any keys, no. So, at this point, I can just leave. I'm fine. I have full health and all that. I don't have any ammo for this, though. That's a reason to go back and buy some. If I have the cash. 36, and I am one short. Alright, so I will just leave and cry because Mega Hand is really useful. But I've got a machine pistol and a witch pistol. And we're headed to the third floor. So on this floor, I might encounter another dude. I can fall down here, but that doesn't do anything for me. It's a secret room, but you can't make use of it because you need an NPC for that. So, we third floor. And these dudes are cool. I like these enemies. They have a bunch of spores and stuff, as you can see, and those will just sit around for a little while. I need ammo for the Mega Hand. And those disappear and all is well in the world. You guys have plenty of health, eh? Alright, so flip a table for some damage up. I think I bought that, right? Whoa, that was close. I always forget about them being ready to do that. Enemies flip tables, too. Another blank, which is nice. Alright. Feels like my damage is falling off. I'm not sure if that's true. I should not have gotten hit there. Not a big deal. Up. Oh. Hello, friend. Those guys shoot annoying projectiles. Those projectiles shoot projectiles at you when you destroy them. Thank you for that. And these two will probably link, yeah. The minecarts are really fun. You can get in them, they're cool. I don't need that health. Go figure. I'm doing well enough to not need that health. So remembering to warp all over the place is just super great. It's hard to forget though because it's so much faster. And it's a system that I absolutely love. It's so valuable and so effective. Especially given the pacing of the game. I absolutely love it. Rolling's not faster by the way as far as I know. Ah. Uh, Completely doable dodge, just I was in slightly the wrong spot. Alright, thank you. Oh, I'm empty again. Alright. Need a table to flip, get some damage up. 
So just by the way, I'm not this good at this game consistently. Don't expect this as my normal performance. I won't always get to the third floor, for example. Flare gun's pretty good, but I don't know what this does, so I have to know. Deals damage to nearby enemies. Hey, that's useful. I like it. I don't have enough money. Oh, really? I messed that up that bad? Right. Well, that's also my own fault. Now the mistakes start. Thank you, though. You can walk across the tracks, but minecarts are fun. They're silly, I like it. Alright, there's Boss Man. But I would like to clear the floor more first. Two rooms that I haven't even touched that lead to at least uh, one other relatively special room. See that table flip damage, man? It's too good. Empty. Oh my god, this is just embarrassing. Alright, so I have no keys, of course. Gonna grab that heart. It's nice that hearts don't disappear, even if ammo does. another chest I can't open. You can shoot chests. So this is a room with a secret. I have nothing else in place of the secret, so I will grab it. You uh, get in these, and they go across invisible tracks. And then you roll, and that'll get you between them. And then this one will get you to this. And then you grab that, and here you go, some info on it, bullet component, and that's all I get from it. And you can't like actually use it, it's just kind of there. So what I'm going to do is check the shop and see if he's selling a key for any amount I can afford. He's not selling a key at all, that's kind of what I thought. So I'm going to go shoot the chests. Usually you'll get junk, sometimes they'll explode, but sometimes you'll get whatever was in the chest. So we'll find out how, we're, uh, how lucky we are right now. So that one's junk. Next time use a key, I would have if I had the ability. And junk as well. So it was possible that the boss gave me a key though. But I don't really have good stuff for fighting the boss. When you think about it, I don't have ammo. And this boss will kill me. This boss always kills me. I have killed it once. But I don't imagine that happening again. And there are no tables for me to flip, unfortunately. I can't. Alright, so far, so good. And he's just destroying all my cover. Sometimes those dudes will spawn, and they'll be awful. But as you can see, it has a ton of health. And I'm running out of ammo. Well, that was close. 
I need you dead. I had a feeling he was gonna wreck my day, and then he didn't. Did I get hit again? I'm not actually certain. Maybe I just killed one of them. Oops, I was looking too much at the boss and not enough at me. Running out of ammo. May as well use the blanks at some point. There we go. So now I'm empty on that. I have to finish this with my pistol. Which at the very least has infinite ammo. So I won that fight. Which is surprising. I really need some ammo though, game. Help. Armor and a cool looking gun. Oh, this thing. You can unlock this thing, uh, but it's not always there. So I didn't get any keys, so I feel a little less bad about my decisions in life. So full heart's 42, so ammo's 42 as well. Dang, man. Alright. Life is expensive. Alright, let's go. Made it to the fourth floor, surprisingly. Man, all of my stuff is empty. It's awful. But, chamber four. There's ice here. Look at this. It's hard for me to move properly. Is that probably... This is not the best gun, it seems. So those enemies were frozen. Ah, yeah, this is not accurate. My confidence quickly wanes. This thing seems to do decent damage, though. Okay, those count as actual enemies, now I know. Okay, you guys need to be dead. Alright, we did it. I haven't seen this, uh... I've been to the fourth floor, but I think I was on a different fourth floor. It wouldn't surprise me if there were floor variants. Oh, that was butt. Thank you, I needed that. I wish I hadn't lost health in order to gain that health. But actually, I only lost armor, so I don't know. It's really the same thing. Oh my god, you're just... This is not cool. Everything is sheer terror right now. Where did that dude go? I guess I killed buff dude. Only gun I have ammo in right now. By the way, this is overall completely blind. I didn't watch any of the, like, Cobalt Richard Hammer Marathon or any of that. Haven't really had any spoilers. It's all pretty much what I'm learning for myself. And it's fun that way. Every gun is empty. Absurd. So it doesn't even... 
wasn't letting me switch guns. Now it is again. You have a gun scythe. I like this. Oh, that was tracing me real hard. Ah. Uh. Hello, friend. This is like a lot of stuff going on for not having any ammo, nor any way to get any ammo. Oh, we did it. Oh my gosh, no keys and that's blocked off, so. Living the good life is what's going on right now. There haven't been any tables that I've noticed. So I can't even take a damage boost on my pistol here. Pistol can't find secret rooms either. Hello friends, these guys are all really easy to kill as long as you like hit them once, they just die. Okay, I would, thank you. I would really, really love an ammo drop though, anytime now. Some terrible luck I've got right now. This is a cool room so far. Oh, I rolled it just barely the wrong time. So the red dudes are like angry champions with lots of health. And they shoot cool bullets. That's a cool room though. I didn't know they had rooms like this. All right. Found a new place to inconvenience me. Oh, dang. There we go. Uh, I thought I was between them. My bad. A golden skeleton with eye lasers. Neat. That was dumb. All right, so I can just, is he gonna come back or what? Okay, there we go, we're good. I mean, besides the fact we're at a half a heart. But other than that, we're good. Dang, dude. Well, I found the boss. We know where I'm not going, right? Because I know where I'm not going. I'm not going to no-hit the first stage four, well, chamber four, technically. First chamber four I've ever done. Well, the first chamber four boss I see. All right. I'm going to need to mance your macro, friend. I needed that.
Oops, that was dumb. I forgot that sometimes they do that. It's not an every time thing. It's a when they think it would be really inconvenient if they did. Same with the blue dudes, of course. Yeah, I mean, that was bound to happen eventually. There were starting to be a lot of bullets, and I only had a pistol and wasn't getting any ammo drops. That was a really good first run, though. So, you know, I'm down for that. Next time, we will check out the new stuff here in the main area. And we'll play as the pilot. But for today, that's it. I hope you all enjoyed the episode. I hope you're all ready for this series, because I'm very ready for it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.